memory, um, like these little flash drives, or thumb drives, jump drives, people call them all sorts of different things, um, are even more durable than CDs or DVDs at this point, because they can't be scratched or things of that sort. They don't really degrade over time. Yeah, they're just little, little, little pieces that plug right into the computer. Um, they kind of, they're, they more than anything are probably the biggest reason that floppy drives, zip drives, and all those other kind of little disk technologies have, have really fallen off. Is because these things require no drive of their own. There's nothing special you have to have on the machine. Just a, any machine with USB ports, which is a very, very common connector. Um, you plug it right in and copy your data to it. It works exactly like a, any other kind of disk. It just appears on your computer. You drag and drop files to it. Um, and what's really great about them is that they don't require any um, any source of power to store that data. They don't, like they, you don't need a, any, any internal battery, it, and it's not magnetic. So like a, a floppy drive or a zip drive, if you leave that thing sitting there, the kind of magnetic data on it wears out over time. It gets the files get corrupted, um, the data disappears over time. These are, are what's called non-volatile. They don't they don't uh, degrade over time anyway. So. Um, you can leave that sitting there for a very, very long time, years and years, and it will be exactly like you left it the next time you plug it in. What did you call it? Um, it's called a flash drive. They're very cheap now. Yeah. They're very cheap, definitely. What about brand names on those? Uh, you see them from Letsar, SanDisk. Are they basically the same? I mean, the um, they are largely the same. I mean, uh, picking a, a more recognizable name like uh, SanDisk or iOmega, uh, who made all the zip drives back in the day. Um, tends to be not a, it, it's not going to hurt you, but really they're all pretty good. I mean, some are more than the quality of the, the chip itself is more the, the durability of the casing and the design that sort of thing. Two questions on that. Mm -hmm. First of all, technical differentiation between a flash drive and an SD card, mm -hmm. and, and then and secondly, uh, those are all re uh, writable and erasable too. Yes, they? they're they're completely rewritable. You never you. It's not like a CD where you write to it once. They're, they can be um, altered over and over again. And some of them say they're high speed. What's that? Yeah. Well, let me get to your, your first question about the, uh, the SD card or any other kind of flash card versus a flash drive. Um, a flash card, like what you would find in a digital camera or some cell phones, things of that sort, um, is basically just a little chip, exactly like what's inside of a flash drive. Um, it, the flash drive is basically a self-contained device, whereas a, a flash card, like an SD card or an XD card or a memory card, things of that sort, um, those need a special drive to read them. Um, and as for uh, the kind of branding and marketing and things you see that say high speed, um, some of them do advertise as being faster, and the differences are not gigantic for the most part. Um, they, they can be made marginally faster by just using slightly higher um, speed types of memory inside of the, the device itself. Um, but the, the connection that they're using for the computer is the same. Um, the overall um, quality of the, of the data of the copy is going to be very similar. And the speed difference, unless you're moving a lot of files all the time, is probably not going to be the biggest.